Hey guys, how's it going? Dimitri here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a part list of a $1,200 RTX 3070 uh, PC build slash part list. The reason why I'm doing it this way, I obviously don't have the budget to do like PC builds left and right. So um, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for starters, um, we are going to go ahead and hop into Amazon. All right, so let's start with the case. The case that we will be going with today is the NZXT H510 non-elite version. Um, this is a compact ATX mid-tower case, comes with two pre-installed air 120mm fans, and um, it has also a tempered, um, tempered glass side panel. So still pretty aesthetically pleasing when you think about like actual lights that you can put in here especially when we talk about the coolers and things like that. Um, you should have plenty uh, cable management when it comes to like actually like room in the back of the case and stuff and they have like raceways that you can route the cables and stuff. So overall it's a pretty efficient like system that they have in the back of there. I do, I do like it. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's very similar to the H510 Elite, which I have, which is a $150 case. Um, it has a tempered front and side panel. So if you guys missed that, go check it out. It'll be linked in the top right corner. Let's get on with it. Uh, NZXT H510 uh, case. Reasoning, $67 or $68. You have a solid case that's aesthetically pleasing and... Um, you know, it's rock solid. A lot of people use this case. And quite honestly, I think NZXT build quality is pretty well. All right, guys, that's the case out of the way. Let's go ahead and move on to the motherboard. All right, guys, so our motherboard of choice is the ASUS Tough B550 uh, gaming motherboard. Reason I chose this is because it's B550, meaning it is compatible with um, AMD 5000 series CPUs that I've just recently launched, actually. Um, this motherboard supports PCIe Gen 4, which separates it from the B450 series motherboards. Um, this B550 is compatible with PCIe Gen 4, um, which puts it right up there next to X570 and things like that. So uh, that's why I went ahead and chose this one. Um, but keep in mind, this one is 155, but if you want Wi-Fi, add another $20 to that and it'll bring it right up to uh, 175. I did not choose the Wi-Fi version pretty much because if you're a competitive PC gamer that wants a 3070 in their system, you're most likely going to be having a wired connection anyway. So um, yeah, that's why I went ahead and you know chose this port. Let's go ahead and move on to the CPU of choice. So the processor we're gonna be using in this build is a Ryzen 5 3600. I chose this processor because it is a six core, 12 thread processor. You can clock this thing up to 4.2 gigahertz and overall I think it's just a pretty solid um, processor when considering gaming and any type of multi-threaded tasks that you might be doing. All right guys, that's the processor we're gonna be using in this build. Let's go ahead and move on to the graphics card. And um, you guys already know, what it's gonna be, the title, it's a 3070. Let's go ahead and show you anyway. All right guys, so I know that Best Buy isn't going to be a lot of you guys' choice when it comes to buying PC parts, but um, when it comes to like reasonable pricing, Best Buy had the best price on this, this graphics card, so that's why I'm showing you it from here. Um, for the graphics card, we're going with the uh, NVIDIA RTX 3070 uh, Founders Edition. It's got 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory, and you can pretty much expect 2080 super performance out of this card at uh, $500. So overall, these things seem to be bulletproof from the reviews and stuff that I've watched. And um, yeah, overall pretty solid you're gonna get great performance out of it all right guys so that's the graphics card we're gonna be using in the system let's go ahead and check out the power supply all right guys so this is actually a killer deal for a power supply this right here is the EVGA 750 n1 it's a 750 watt power supply uh, it comes with a two-year warranty and um, a 120 millimeter low noise fan which I think is pretty cool if you guys don't know, there was a period of time not too long ago, maybe three, four months ago, when it was extremely hard to find a power supply that was at all reasonable in price. Uh, there was like a shortage of them, which was really weird. 
but $62.99 for a 750 watt power supply um, of this rating is good. So this is the power supply of choice. Uh, this is the power supply that I'd recommend. A lot of people may say that 750 watts is complete overkill, but the way that I see it is I'd rather have 750 watts and only need and use 650 of them and have 100 left over than to have 600 watts and need 650. You know what I mean? So I'd rather, you know, have like a buffer in between. I'd rather not have like bare minimum. I'd rather have more so then it gives me room to upgrade in the future and I don't ever have to worry about bottlenecking the system or not having enough wattage to power everything because I know that I'll have it. So that's my reasoning behind it. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the RAM we're gonna be using in the system. All right guys, so our RAM of choice is going to be the G-Skill Rip Jaws, very common, very recommended and reputable um, sticks of RAM. Uh, this is actually a um, two by eight kit. So it's 16 gigabytes, two sticks of eight gigabytes. Um, this is 3600 megahertz. The reason I chose 3600 megahertz is because AMD CPUs like faster RAM. They perform better with faster RAM. Um, I could get into you know why that is, but I'll save that for another video. I also chose a cast latency of 16. The reason why I chose this is because again, AMD CPUs like faster RAM. So. Uh, 3600 megahertz, cast latency 16, bada bing bada boom, that's the RAM that we chose for this. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what we got for storage now. Alright, so for storage, um, we're going to break it up into two sections. One is going to be our boot drive and then the other is going to be game storage. Uh, for our boot drive, I went ahead and gone with the Western Digital Black 500 gigabyte um, internal NVMe SSD. Uh, this is PCIe Gen 3. I chose this because it's going to be faster than any type of like SATA, M.2, or any type of hard drive that you could possibly think of. It's going to be way faster than that. 500 gigs, it's going to allow you to have Windows downloaded onto it or whatever operating system you choose. But 98.7 of us are going to be Windows. And um, you can also install any type of like software that you want on this. It really depends, it's up to you. So yeah, boot drive, 500 gig NVMe SSD by Western Digital. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's move on to our game storage. All right guys, for our game storage, we're going with the Seagate Barracuda two terabyte hard drive. Um, this is pretty reputable hard drive. Uh, Seagate has been in the game for a while and uh, this hard drive, as you can see, has 41,000 ratings. So yeah, it's been used a lot. Two terabytes, you're gonna be able to store a bunch of games on there. Uh, you're probably gonna run out of space actually, believe it or not, at the rate games are going nowadays and how much space that they take up. But um, yeah, as much as I'd love to put, you know, like a huge four terabyte NVMe like SSD, uh, that would probably cost about $900. So um, that's that's the majority of the budget that we have for this computer. $54.99 gets you two terabytes of storage. So that's why we went with this one. All right, guys, it's pretty much gonna wrap up the part list of the uh, $1,200 3070 build that we have going here. Um, if you guys add everything up, it's gonna be roughly $1,190. So uh, I actually saved you guys 10 bucks. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like would be much appreciated. If you guys have any comments or suggestions or any input um, of you know personal preferences or something that you like better that might you know cost a little less or bring the price down, definitely leave them in the comments section below. I'll read and respond to all of them and I really appreciate your feedback. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and for anybody that viewed or commented or liked my last $1,500 PC build, um, I really can't thank you enough. I really do appreciate all the support I got on that video and it is just crazy to me. I got the amount of views that I did on that video. Um, thank you, seriously, thank you. That's gonna sum up the video. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.